Good morning and welcome back to the Venueless introduction session. Um, as far as we can tell, you've all made it into Venueless, otherwise you most likely won't be here unless you're sharing someone's screen. Uh, we haven't found any YouTube streamings yet, so I likely are all here to get here if you have questions about that uh, please go into the help test chat or reach out to us at event at uh, once again you can ask questions on the right side uh, in the chat uh, we will try to answer them at the end i'm gonna go and run you quickly through the high level overview of venueless so as you can see on the left top side in the red corner there are general information available for you the shadal sponsors attendee overview and many more things in on the right side in the middle on the welcome page you have a general overview of what's happening during the day uh, and we will provide you with more and newer information throughout each of the two days of uh, the conference on the left side, you can see both kinds of stages. So you can see the main stage where presentations, panel, and the Q&A via chat will happen. Uh, and the heralds and the uh, speakers will answer them during the talks or afterwards. Below that, you see channels. These channels are meant for interaction between uh, all of you. Uh, you can see video and chat channels. Um, there are rooms opened before the main stage, after the main stage, and during the breaks. Uh, we will have welcome and breakfast sessions in the mornings. We will have break sessions, coffee bars, but we will also have follow-up sessions for each of the uh, <coughs> sorry for each of the talks of the session that ha just happened before. So, if you'd like, you can follow up and continue the discussion from what you just saw on the main stage in one of these channels. Channels will close roughly five minutes before the next main stage talk starts so that you all have time to get your beverage and join us back at the main stage uh, also after the end of the day you will find a couple of uh, rooms there where you can have socials until the offici uh, official social starts in the evening there are a help desk chat and a welcome desk where you can reach out to us and the whole crew of dnr 12 and ask us questions and any information that you want to prepare or just join us for a quick chat at the bottom you see the function of direct messages we're gonna go into that in a couple of minutes but in general you can have one-on-one -on -one, one to two or one two dollar people sessions we haven't figured out how many you can put into a room until it breaks so please tell us once you find out at the total bottom you see the personal configuration setup your individual account setup can be administered here to change your name and a couple of other things. So let's go into that. Once you click on the button, you basically see a information like in any other social media platform or conference setup where you can change uh, your setup. You can start with the picture on the top where you can either choose an avatar to use or upload a picture of you uh, or your preferred pad at home that you want to share with the community. Below that, the fields should be pre-filled already out of your pretext registration where you got your ticket to enter here. If they aren't, please fill them in. Uh, these entries will appear in the Meet the Attendees section and they are searchable, so be careful of what you put in there. On the total bottom, you see uh, desktop not uh, notifications. These are unsubscribed per default to make sure that you don't get notifications if you don't want them. But we highly recommend to subscribe to the chat notification uh, for the desktop because that will allow you to get information once people have chatted you and messaged you. So let's go back to the top left of the um, menu on the left side. Uh, the second button is the schedule, where you can basically find all information for the next two days. Um, if you click on the sessions here, you get more details about the speakers. You get the talk abstract and a couple of information that speakers put in there, including a nice picture if they have uploaded it. Also, you can see our sponsors here. 
Uh, this conference wouldn't be possible without our sponsors, so we are very thankful for having them and for them supporting us, so please check out the sponsor exhibition area. You can basically click on the Sponsors button and select which uh, sponsor you want to visit. This will bring you to a virtual booth-like setup where you find more information about the sponsor, links, details and anything else that they've provided. Let's have a quick look into the menu bar on the right there. So you can find their social media and website connections. You can join a exhibition room that each of them have prepared to show you more details, to get in contact, show you videos or products of their details. Or, if you want, you can contact the uh, sponsor directly. If you click the button Contact Sponsor or Contact Exhibitor, uh, one that will reach out to each of the uh, sponsors that are registered on this tool. If you don't want to just call anyone randomly who picks up the chat first, you can also go in the section below and contact any individual of the sponsors directly. So let's go one section further down on the left side of the menu. Meet the attendees. Um, this basically shows all attendees that have checked in. This is important. It shows you who has checked in and who has at least once visited our venue list setup. It doesn't show you that they are actually online at this point in time. Uh, please remember this is a tool that was started developing somewhere in March this year, so this is still work in progress, um, but we're very happy with the setup that we already have there. So most likely online status will come at some point in the future. Here you can just click on the information and you will get more details about the attendee and their personal details that they've set up in the profile settings. Also, if this person is associated with a sponsor, you will see uh, who this person represents, so that we have full transparency there. You can also search for name, company and ASN, as you can see on the top, and it will show you everyone who has that in their information. Let's go further down on the left side. Recordings and presentations will be shared after the talks are over as soon as possible. Please remember, this is a new setup virtually and this might take a couple of hours longer than usually. Recordings will come online within the next days. The Workshop Sunday presentations will be shared, but the Workshop Sunday was not recorded, so there won't be any recordings of that. So let's look into the stages on the left side. The main stage on the left side is where you already are and there are all main presentations, live talks, the panel and Q&A with the heralds will happen here. Uh, while the main stage is not running and we're in breaks, there is constant information that is running in the main stage that will allow you to get more details about the DNOC Foundation, about DNOC 12 and basically everything that is happening around you. So check that out in the breaks as well. On the right bottom of the main stage, you can see emoji reactions during the talks. I can't see that at the moment, but I highly recommend you to use it at this point as much as possible to see how big we can basically crowd the screen with that. Additionally, there is a chat on the right side that you can use, like recommended in this talk, for questions or any other discussion that you want to have with attendees or just to say hello in the mornings. When you leave the main stage and you don't join any other of the channel rooms, the presentation and the audio actually stays with you. So you can check out the Shadal, have a text chat with a one-on-one -on -one person or one to other. As long as you don't join any of the other video rooms, you keep the audio and the video on top and can follow the uh, main stage and can come back at any point when you like. In this channel section, you can find individual channels. One that we recommend to ha check out is the welcome desk, where you can find the uh, orga team of this uh, conference and ask any questions or co leave comments that you would like. Also, there are plenty of text chats that you can join and have discussions or interactions with your peers that you've most likely haven't seen for at least three quarters of a year now. So let's look into direct chats on the left bottom a bit further. If you click in direct chats, 
a window opens that allows you to type in any other person that you would like to talk to. You can type in one person and it basically shows you who is uh, available to chat. Or you can ch uh, type in more persons and open a text chat with all of them. So it's one-on-one -on -one or one-to-multiple, however you like. Once you've opened that, it uh, per default opens a text chat. Uh, this is to make sure that we don't have random video calls all the time and people get annoyed during the main stage. In this text chat, you can exchange and talk however you like, but also, if you want to, you can go and on the top right corner, just start a video call with everyone who's in this text chat already. The other participants will receive an invite in the text chat to join the call. Once they join, a video chat will open in a new tab window. This is kind of important. Uh, it took us a while to figure this out ourselves, so please pay attention to the pop-up blockers that you might have depending on the browser that you're in. Actually, we recommend that you allow dnoc.venueless.events, which is the main domain of this, to open pop-ups per default. You're welcome to delete that after the conference, but we find that makes it significantly easier to interact with one each other. There will be an official social tonight, which starts at 7 p.m. Uh, Central European time. Uh, you can easily join from Venueless on the left side. It will have spatial chat rooms. Uh, we believe this is the best virtual social setup that at least we've seen so far. Uh, there is a introduction video on the welcome page in about 15 minutes after this talk. Uh, this will allow you to give a, you a better introduction and that video is actually more funny and more interesting than I can ever do that. So I recommend you to check out the video and I won't go into further details. And with that, I would open it up for questions and answers and would have a look if we have any questions. So, let me have a quick look. So one of the questions that came up was that people are apparently hearing audio uh, in double. Uh, you got to make sure that you leave any of the workshop rooms or um, big blue button rooms in the channel section before you join the audio uh, the stage. Uh, also, um, what happened on a regular basis is don't open at more than one uh, browser tab with different sources because that very easily brings you in the situation that you have more than one. Any other questions that we would have? The chat will not be recorded, no, sorry. The question was whether the chat will be recorded. Um, no, the chat will not be recorded. All data is deleted after the conference is over. I don't see any other questions at this point. So if you have further questions, there is a help desk text chat somewhere down here, I assume. Um, join there. Uh, if you can't find it, on top of the channel section, you, there is a search button where you can put in. Um, and you can find it there as well. With that, have a lovely day. We see you again at 12.30. Thank you.